Yo, what is going on guys? It is not in reality and in today's video I'm making a guide on how to get and enhance the Don's gloves. Now, let's start at the very beginning. What do you need to even get this item? So, you either need a Beggs glove, uh, this is the DR, or the Liebers, which is the evasion version. One thing to keep note before we even get into this is whichever glove you pick to Kafras is the one you are going to get in the Dons version. So if you hand in a Liebers, you're going to get the Evasion Dons. If you hand in the Begs, you are going to get the DR Dons. Keep that in mind in case you are an Evasion player that was just using Begs for now just because you had a pen or whatever. Um, but you can swap over Dons to uh, Evasion to DR, DR to Evasion with a couple extra uh, silver. Um, I will talk about that later. But once you have your Liebers or Begs, you need to get them to pen. Once you get them to pen, you are going to need to get Kafris, whichever way you like. I personally just like grinding the highest silver spot I can and then buying them, especially since there are a bunch on the market right now. You need to get to C10 in your gloves. And then once you get to C10 in the gloves, you need to get the Ember of Hongik. How do we get that? There are multiple ways to get it. The best one is to do your Black Shrine. Every time you do your Black Shrine, you will get these Embers of Hongik which are in here somewhere, I can't even find them. They're, they're somewhere in here. Uh, but in this in these bags that you get every week, you can get these embers. And what the embers do is you get 500 of them and you go to, and then you can um, heat it into a full flame of hungik. Now there is one more, or I guess there's two more ways you can get it. The other one is getting despairs. So with this flame, if you have despairs, you can trade them at a one for two ratio to get the embers of Hungik to then get 500. So basically you would need 250 despairs to get a full flame of Hungik. How do you do that? You go, you go to the magnifying glass and you talk to this person right here. Um, he is in, just in case you don't have him unlocked. He is down here in the port of uh, Nampo's Moodle village, this guy right here. And you go to him and you trade in your despairs for embers, which then you turn into the flame. I personally do not recommend this. It is very, very expensive. I only recommend it if you have trillions of silver to spend and you don't really uh, care to spend the extra silver. Other way of doing it is to literally just buy it. Now, I also don't recommend this either because right now it is two bill and in AR it is about 700 mil. So it's going to go down if you can wait. And you, if you don't feel like farming out the embers yourself which i do just recommend because by the time this drops to 700 mil you'll probably have enough for like three flames of hungik if you do your weekly black shrine which i do have a video on if you don't know how to do that even if you're a new player and you're not even close to don's gloves you can still do the black shrine and uh do the quest line for the land of the morning light then do the black shrine to get the flames to even just sell them for silver or to keep it for later on when you actually get the chance of having it so now that we have all of that out of the way, we have our C10 Begs, our C10 Liebers, and we do have the Flame. What we are going to do is come to the Fox Goddess statue. Also, there's usually a quest line. I'm pretty sure it is in Suggested called Don's Glove something or other. I already did it. But if you don't see the quest for whatever reason, but you think you would still have access to it, come over here to the Black Shrine for Gumiho. For some reason, if you click on it, at least for me, it sends you above, in like in the top of the um, mountain. So what you need to do basically is just like click right here and then just walk in through this entrance over here and you will talk to this fox goddess statue to start the quest. Super quick quest line, which is why I'm not showing any of it in this video. You basically just run around to like three or four people, talk to them, uh, do a little scripted fight, and then you are done with the quest. I will say if you are like me and you spam R repeatedly and you don't really care about the story, the quest does end abruptly. You kind of just end like over here somewhere and it just like ends and you don't know why it ended and you think that there's more quests but there aren't but if you literally just come back to the statue with your bags gloves unequipped like this unequipped then also with the flame you will have the quest to actually make the gloves themselves but make sure you do have the flame in your inventory and the c10s unequipped or it will not show up so now that we know how to get the don's gloves I'm going to cut and then I will go to me enhancing or at least trying to enhance so I can show you guys which stacks I'm using and how I am enhancing it. I will be right back. Okay, now that we are at the central market, we can talk about what we need to enhance these Don's gloves. 
Now, what do we need? We need a flawless chaotic blackstone. How do we make this? It is a sharp black crystal, a hard black crystal, a mass of pure magic, and 10 kaffirs for one. So basically, every flawless chaotic is going to be around like 40 mil, give or take. Um, but the thing that makes this hard is we're going to be raw tapping it to duo. I think crowning it to duo isn't really worth it. If you have a, a ton of crons and you don't need them, uh, you can cron to duo, but I personally just recommend raw tapping to duo like many other higher level players will tell you um, and save your crons for accessories and any extra uh, weapons you need to get to pen. So we're going to get into this now. Um, well, let me heat this last one real quick because I wanted to show you guys how it works. Just put all these in the heating and it will make a flawless chaotic. Now. I will say this does take a while to tap if you are an unlucky person like me. Um, I can show you my taps already. This is my tap log already. Um, it's pretty pretty big, but um, that is very common for tapping to duo. I know people that you know go 60 taps um, for duo and they do, do not get it. So how does this work? I personally recommend starting at around a 60 or 70 stack depending on what you have. And what you are willing to burn i'll just go with a 60 and i'll personally put some of these in it because i have a ton of them so we're about a 16 percent um and then from there i'd recommend going for a 90 stack which i actually don't have because i've already tapped both of these to 100 i'd recommend going for like an 80 90 stack um some people do say to go higher so what i'd personally do is start at a 90 or an 80 with valks and then um Keep going until you get around a 120 stack. That's my personal opinion on how you should be doing it. Um, once you get to a 120, just stop. It will take a while because um, when you fail these, they don't give a ton of fail stacks like other items, um, but they do give a decent amount. But hopefully that explains how to do it. Now I got six tries. Let's give it a go. I'm not expecting anything. I'll probably fail all six on pry real quick. Let's give it a go. One. We got a second try, that's nice. Now we need to go for the duo. I'm gonna be using the 100 stack. Now, as you can see, this is 11% chance. It is super low. Um, and if I do fail this, obviously it'll go back to base and I'll have to tap pry again. So it will be using a bunch of fail stacks. If you don't have a bunch of 60s saved up or you know 50s even maybe with a Valk's cries, um, you're going to need a bunch of stacks. So let's go for the duo tap and we did not get it. So now we have to go back to a 60 stack we have to make a 60 stack again. So we'll go 60 with some Valk's cries. And as we can see, we have three chances left. We got it again. I'm getting super lucky. This always happens on the videos. Uh, let's see if we can go for the duo. And we do not manage to get the duo. Now, um, since I've succeeded a lot of times, it was hard to show. Basically, every three fails, you're going to need a repair. So let's just go to a repair person real quick. This is the kind of the expensive part, not only the Kafras, so it's like 40 mil every tap, but um, you are going to need a decent amount of memory fragments. Now, personally, I am at 163. When I started this yesterday, I was about 260, so I've already used around 100 um, to get, and then obviously I've used a bunch of artisan memories. Okay, so we're going to try to get this back to Pry and then we'll end it there. I personally don't care if I ended on Pry or Duo or Base because it doesn't really matter too much to me. Um, the DP in it isn't that much of a difference between Base and Pry. I know that there's a lot of people that like when they tap, they like tap and then it, when they're like 10 off, they just go for a Pry and then they leave it there even if they get it and they have a bunch left. Personally, I just go for Duo um, if it does go, but let's try it one more time. And we got a success again. Jesus Christ, I'm getting insanely lucky. But anyway, that was it for this video. Hopefully it kind of helped you show how to enhance. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.